Welcome to another video guys. In this video we go from Amsterdam, New York all the way to the Hudson River and it's quite an adventure. This is the last part of the canals that I need to get through in order to get to the Hudson River and down through New York along the eastern seaboard and all the way to the Bahamas. So grab a beverage of your choice, grab a coffee, sit back, relax, and enjoy this cool video of me taking this boat all the way from Toronto down to the Bahamas. Make a comment, like, and subscribe. Enjoy the video, guys. Good morning, guys. My name is Michael Potts. I live on this Scepter 36 foot sailboat. And this is where I am today. I'm in Amsterdam, New York. Right now, there's a marine up here. Stayed here for the night and uh, gonna be heading. Today is a huge day, guys, because we're gonna get out, finally get out of this canal and onto the Hudson River. So uh, it's about 50 nautical miles. I think I can do it. It's actually 40 something, but you just got to get through Schenectady and on to the Hudson River. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's, let's get this boat out of this canal finally. I left Toronto uh, in September, late September. It's now October 7th and uh, we are on our way to the Bahamas. All right. So let's pull this boat out and get out of this canal. All right. All right, guys, we are making our final hop. Let's get... Uh, Let's get out of this canal. It's gonna close in a few days and I just wanna know that I'm, I'm out of here. So, about 40 nautical miles in that direction. And, uh, holy, okay, so we're gonna pass Schenectady and uh, kinda do a weird sort of U shape to the north and then onto the Hudson. There's, a, there's a, I think there's eight or nine locks left. Locks left. So, it's gonna be an interesting video guys make a comment down below give me a like and uh, it takes a, a tremendous amount of effort to shoot these videos and upload them to YouTube so I hope you enjoy it all right we'll see uh, we'll see what's connected he looks like in a little minute here so stick around taking a sailboat down the New York canal and lock system is challenging it's taking me about six days to get to this point but it's just a matter of spending hours at the helm, motoring with the mast down, not being able to sail. It just takes concentration and having the right equipment. This sailboat is a Scepter 36, built in 1979 in Richmond, British Columbia. She's 36 feet long and 11.5 feet wide, with a six foot keel, so she draws six feet in total. The mast, when it's up, is 53 feet high. On average, I can do about seven knots with the sails up in good conditions. But under power only with this diesel engine, I can average five knots. So I can roughly cover 40 nautical miles per day. We are on our way, this is great perfect conditions today. Bit of a breeze from the north and uh, we're gonna average five knots. We're gonna try and get through Schenectady, which is great. So a couple things, like if you guys are gonna be out here on your own boat, you gotta have a pair of binoculars, for example, and a good set of sunglasses because you can barely see the markers and, and this channel is reasonably small so you got to know where you're going you got to I can't distinguish the color of the markers unless you look through the binoculars that's a critical thing uh, you got to have a plan too you know and and be realistic about it I thought this would take three or four days to get through this entire canal it's been like six days so uh, when you're not sailing you're just motoring it's kind of boring um, that's why I won't really want to get this boat back to, to being a sailboat. So just, just past this canal here is a place called Catskill or Hop -a Nose. And it's a good place where, you, where they'll take your mast and put it back up. And then Evie will return to a sailboat. And then I can stop wasting diesel, put the sails up and be sailing down the Hudson River. That's the plan. We just gotta get there. So uh, it's around 
7 in the morning, 7.30 right now. Uh, I plan to get into Schenectady by noon and then motored past it. And let's see if we can get out of this, this canal today. That would be revolutionary for me because then I, then I can slow down. Then I don't have to worry about the fact that this canal closes. Like if I had an engine problem right now or something happened, I'd be stuck in this canal. So let's get out of here. All right, let's call the, uh, coming up to lock 10 right now. That's it right there. And I'm gonna call the operator. Lock 10, lock 10, lock 10. This is the sailing yacht EV, uh, southbound. Approaching uh, towards Schenectady, come in, over. Sometimes they don't answer, they're out doing stuff. Anyway, we should be able to get through this lock pretty easily. That's it right there. So we passed Schenectady. Wasn't a very big city from uh, from my perspective here on the on the canal, anyway. But uh, the Hudson River is not far away, guys. This is crazy. Kind of a, a have a convoy of boats. We got a, a catamaran right there. We got a really nice center cockpit yacht up, up ahead there. There's like a bunch of really nice people on there. We're all kind of banded together and we're heading down the canal. So. I'm going around the final bend to, that's just past Schenectady, what a strange name. And we're gonna be, there's still six locks left. I think they're all at once, you know what I mean? To get it onto the Hudson, so we're getting close. I'm, I'm gonna try and get into the Hudson tonight so that I can get to Hoppo Nose tomorrow and start getting this mask back up. I'm also gonna order, I'm trying to pull the trigger on this, uh, Balmar, Balmar alternator. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to get a new alternator here. So, or get my other one rebuilt. I'm not sure what to do. Probably cheaper to just have it rebuilt. But we will see. All right, we will get to the Hudson today, guys. It's gonna be exciting. We are five nautical miles away from the Hudson River, guys. There's still, there's still like. Five locks? I don't understand that. Maybe there's a lot of locks. I should look on the charts, but I think some of the locks are actually on the Hudson and are considered to be a part of this canal. But we are so close to being on the Hudson River. Uh, maybe the maybe the locks on the Hudson close on the 12th. I need to figure this out. I guess I could be doing better planning, but uh, there are two boats with me, so they know what's up. Engine's running fine. It was running weird a minute ago. I think it was just because of the strong current here and the fact that the wind was against us was making the motor slow down and speed up a little bit. It just sounded strange. It just <laughs> the last thing I need is uh, engine problems at the last five nautical miles here. Like we've we've done a lot of. We came all the way from Toronto, okay, and we're right right above Albany right now. So, oh, let's get to the Hudson, guys. All right guys, so we're coming up up on uh, lock number two. It's quite a bit of current here. And uh, 
very happy. I'm gonna be making it out to the Hudson tonight. Look at that. Woo! All right, so I just talked to the lock master. This is actually the last lock uh, before the Hudson River. So we will be on the Hudson River in moments here. Look at this. That right there is the Hudson River. Isn't that great? It's been such a long journey. It's crazy. I'm doing a live stream right now on uh, Facebook, actually. Say hi to YouTube, Facebook. Yeah, we'll be through in a moment here. All right, guys, so the, that's, the doors are opening. Beyond here is the Hudson River. We did it. We did the, we did the Oswego Canal, and then we did uh, the Erie Canal. And this is the end of it right here. This is lock number, number two. All we got to do is get through there. Yep, 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 yep. Getting her done. Thank you. All right, guys, this is revolutionary. We did it. We did the Oswego, we did the Erie, and we're now on the Hudson River officially. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. In next week's video, we're gonna explore the Hudson. We're gonna go to Hoppo Nose and get this mask back up, and we're gonna head down to New York City. That's the plan. So make a, make a comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. That's it for this week's video. Next week, we go all the way to Catskill and get the mask back up. And there's actually some pretty sticky situations I get myself into. I almost think the vote twice, guys. It's a crazy video. Make sure you catch next week's video. I'd like to thank Barbara and Jesse for joining my Patreon. I appreciate any support you guys can give me as it takes a tremendous amount of effort to shoot these videos and upload them to YouTube out here on the canals and oceans and lakes. Make a comment, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.